good morning this is captain chaudhary today i'll be speaking about initial reporting in the radar plotting initial reporting is very very important it is very important from practical angle it is also very important from examination point of view i think if it is a 25 marks numerical at least 50% marks are reserved for the initial reporting initial reporting has to be complete substantial and shouldn't have any doubt it is like the duty officer reporting to the master who at the time is responsible for taking action or it is uh, like the person who was plotted reporting to the duty officer let's take a situation where own ship is doing a course of say 350 at 15 knots and at 10 o'clock a target is spotted at 10 o'clock the target is spotted at 038 12 miles off right then uh, say let's say this is a screen and this is the center of ppi the radar is on 12 miles range which means uh, if i draw the scale over here from here to here is 12 miles so it is 6 miles 3 miles 9 miles 1 2 4 5 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Okay. <clears throat> now, my course is 350 and 15 knots. I spot a target, say this is 0, so this is somewhere here, 0. I spot a target here, 038, 12 miles. The initial position is called O. In a relative motion plot, I need to make OAW triangle. I don't want to change the letters. I don't want to call it ABC triangle or XYZ triangle. The OAW letters are maintained also because it is more or less a, a standard terminology and I don't want to change the convention. I don't want to have a confusion between the different institutes who teach the subject. So OA is the relative approach of the target. In fact, when my first observation of the target, I started monitoring the target at 10 o'clock, uh, the position is marked as O. At 10 o'clock, the target bearing is 038 into 12 miles, 1006. The bearing does not change, the distance is 9 miles. That means the relative movement is of 3 miles. The bearing does not change. I mark the second position, that is the position at 1006 as 038 into 9 miles. OA is the relative approach of the target. Now, it's a relative motion gyro stabilized display which is very good for watch keeping. You can plot the bearing and distance off from the show targets. At the same time, it is very good, very compatible and user friendly as far as the color X is concerned. Now, this is 10 o'clock position, this is 1006 position just by plotting these two positions. What is the biggest advantage of relative motion display? What is the biggest advantage of gyro stabilized RM display or relative motion display? The biggest advantage is just by plotting two positions, say at an interval of six minutes, we are able to get CPA, TCPA, we are able to assess what is the situation, right? So simultaneously we will start reporting and let us see what all things can be written in the reporting. First of all, it's a clear visibility Target bearing 038 into 9 miles, right? Bearings steady, distance reducing. Uh, situation rule number 15 crossing situation. 
relative bearing 0 48 degrees on my starboard side so green CPA is 0 because when I extend the approach line it passes through the center of the PPI which means that on a relative motion a target is moving towards my own position this means the own ship as well as target ship we continue on our course and speed we are heading for collision and this is indicated by any target that moves towards the center of PPI on a relative motion display now CPA is therefore zero let us see what is the TCPA what is the relative speed relative speed is 3 miles is traveled in 6 minutes now from here to here is 9 miles right now 3 miles is traveled in 6 minutes that means 9 miles will be traveled relatively in 18 minutes 18 plus 6 24 that means the TCPA after 18 minutes will be at 1024 now I will state that here relative bearing 48 degrees green relative speed is 30 knots because 3 miles is traveled in 6 minutes so in 60 minutes it will be 30 miles so 30 knots at 30 knots the CPA we have seen 0 at 30 knots the TCPA will be 1024 now please understand this is the advantage of relative motion gyro stabilized display because just by having two positions just by plotting two positions without even making a triangle I have not made the OAW triangle as yet I have not made so far any vector triangle without making the vector triangle I have so many things available to me which are so useful for collision avoidance right I'm in a course of 350 my speed is 15 knots if my speed is 15 knots in 6 minutes, I will do 1.5 miles. 1.5 miles is something like this. And if I want to represent my course 350, which is over here, and distance traveled in 6 minutes, this is the vector. Now, this vector is actually Vo. Vo means from W to O. It is never OW. Vo is the course and distance in 6 minutes. The ship goes from W to O. It's vector. Vector means direction and magnitude. So direction is 350 and magnitude is 1.5 miles. We know what is cut and paste. If I ask you to do cut and paste Vo in such a way that O gets synchronized with this. I want to complete the triangle OAW. I already have one side and another side is Vo. W. O. So current paste O in such a way that O gets synchronized with O of my initial approach line. So what I do is I simply cut this and paste it over here. The moment I have W pasted on my plotting sheet, I join W A. The VA is target course and speed. Call it VA so that there is no confusion. VA is target course and speed. So from W to A, it is target course and speed. Right? Now what I do is I try to read VA. Now I'm doing the approximate plotting on the blackboard. And when you do it on plotting sheet, you might get slightly different results. I'm just taking the round figures and approximate figures. VA, if I read it on the screen, I find that from W to A, the target's actual movement is 2.5 miles in 6 minutes. So W to A is the vector of target course and speed. What I read as magnitude is 2.5, 2.5 miles in 6 minutes, which means that 25 miles in 60 minutes, that means the target speed is 25 knots. What I do is I transfer this line through the center and read it over here. Probably the target course is 250. 
So what I get from WA, that is VA, is the target course and speed. So target course is 250 and target speed is 25 knots. I've completed the triangle and after completing the triangle, the first information that I get is the target course and speed. Target course is 250, target speed is 25 knots. Now there is a very important information I'm going to acquire from the plot after making the triangle and that information cannot be acquired before making the triangle. What is aspect? Aspect is my relative varying from the target ship. Now my relative varying from the target ship, how to imagine this? So imagine your friend is there on the target ship and you request him please take my bearing and tell me what is my relative varying from your ship. If he calculates that, that is her aspect for me. My relative bearing from the target ship is her aspect for me. Aspect is also to be understood literally when we talk about a problem, we say when we discuss about a problem, we say let us look at this problem from different aspects. Different aspects means different angles. You are viewing the ship from which angle? If you are looking at the ship from her right ahead, then her aspect is zero. If you are looking at the ship in such a way that you are just looking at the propeller and nothing of the ship side, that means her aspect is 180 degrees. When you are looking at a ship in such a way that you can see the maximum length of the ship, you are looking at the ship beam on, that means the aspect is 90 degrees. Now, you are looking at which side of the ship? The target in the OAW triangle with WA representing the target course and speed and the ship placed like this, actually you are looking the red side or the port side of the target. Mathematically, aspect is the angle between the target course and the reciprocal of the target bearing at any time. So reciprocal of the target bearing is 218 and target course is 250. So aspect is 32 degrees and because you are seeing the port side of the target, aspect is 32 degrees red. So this is how I calculate aspect. Aspect is very very important in deciding whether a target can be dangerous for you as far as the close quarter situation is concerned or possible collision is concerned. Aspect is also very important in overtaking situation for the overtaking vessel in the daytime when the overtaking vessel cannot see the stern light because it is daytime. The only way an overtaking vessel can decide that she is in the stern light sector is by making the triangle OAW and calculating the aspect, right? So aspect has to be more than 112.5 and the distance needs to be reducing to determine that a vessel is overtaking. In olden times, we have heard on the ship, the masters used to sometimes say, put green to green and red to red and go to bed. Of course, you don't take it in literal sense, but at least when green to green and red to red is there, that means the aspect and relative bearing are of the same color. You may relax a little bit, but it's never to be taken as a standard thumb rule. Because in the situations of excessive drift or say head-on situation or say alteration of course, this rule may not uh, give you 100% authentic results. So you don't bank on the results, you don't bank on the thumb rules, caution has to be observed always whether it is red to red or it is red to green. We have to very carefully decide as to what is the situation and act accordingly. So once again going through the report, the duty officer would make to the master or a radar plotter would make to the duty officer is it's a situation of clear visibility target at 1006 is 038 into 9 miles bearings are steady and distance reducing situation is rule number 15 relative bearing 048 degrees green relative speed is 30 knots cpa 0 tcpa 1024 target course 250 target speed is 25 knots aspect 32 degrees red own ship is a giveaway vessel and target ship is stand on vessel 